and now we are about to start our the second session after inaugural we have our country partner utopia and they will be talking about the opportunities of investment in the utopia they would be sharing about the cultural nuances investment opportunities the startup culture the trade tourism about their country and how india and utopia can work together to enhance trade commerce investment and startup exchange opportunities between the two countries i would take this opportunity to thank her excellency the ambassador of embassy of ethiopia to extend her help and support by nominating delegates from ethiopia to visit india to participate in global spring trade conclave new delhi on 29th and 30th of march at iic new delhi i would like now to invite an official from embassy of ethiopia to come and give the presentation and share areas of opportunities and collaboration between two countries ethiopia and india thank you dash and uh, distinguished guests ladies and gentlemen first of all i'd like to thank the organizer of this event ministry of micro small and medium enterprise nfdi nift and as a co-organizer for giving us this opportunity to share our thoughts regarding the Ethiopia's investment opportunity, our commercial relation with India, and uh, and also our textile and apparel investment potentials for, for this huge gathering. My name is yeah, Ibel Taltagene. I am working in Ethiopian Embassy as First Secretary uh, in Investment Promotion. And uh, I have enjoyed my stay here in India for the last three years working with Indian uh, business people and different Chamber of Commerce and sectoral associations in order to enhance our bilateral uh, commercial relations for the last three years. And I will be speaking on the investment opportunities and uh, to give you some, some insight. Let, 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 let me give you, let, let me present Ethiopia at a glance. Yeah? So, our name is Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia. Like India, we are also following a federal government structure. We have 11 regions and two charter cities. We are, similarly, we are also following parliamentary system. Our country's GDP is close to 1 billion USD. And uh, for the last two decades, yeah, for successive two decades, our growth rate has been double digits. And uh, for the last two years, due to the COVID pandemic and the insect infestation, which was experienced in the Horn of Africa, our, uh, our growth rate has shown some decline. But we're working to, to, to maintain our previous pace. Yeah? Uh, our area is like one third of Indian total size. Uh, and our population is around 110 million, which makes us the second most populous country in Africa, next to Nigeria. And it is about our bilateral relation with India. Histor historical recording show us that Ethiopia and India have enjoyed for more than 2,000 years of contacts, and these contacts could be commercial sometimes. And during the Aksumite Empire, uh, which means the first century AD, our Ethiopian traders were taking spice and silk from India and they were exporting uh, ivory and gold for the, their Indian counterparts. 
and after the Indian independence, our diplomatic relations uh, uh, at legate level started in 1948, and then it was up upgraded at full diplomatic level in 1950. Ethiopia is the first country to open its embassy in New Delhi from Africa, and fr from this time onwards, our relationship, both as bilateral and multilateral fora, has uh, has been characterized as warm, cordial, and friendly. While looking to our bilateral relationship, the, our trade volume is around 1.28 billion USD, and this, as you see from the figure, the trade balance is in favor of, highly in favor of India. Actually, and now, nowadays we are working with various Indian concerned authorities in order to increase our share, Ethiopia's share, because we have many products which uh, can create which can use the Indian market, yeah? And on the investment side, there are around 607 Indian companies who, have, uh, who are under different stages of investment in Ethiopia. And from this number, 400 of the Indian companies have successfully established their presence in Ethiopia. Uh, from this number, around 61 persons is the man manufacturing sector, especially in the textile, in the pharmaceutical, and agro-processing. And, now, and, and now, nowadays, Ethiopia has embarked, uh, through its uh, government, it has embarked a homegrown economic reform agenda for the purpose of increasing its foreign, de 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 foreign uh, investment, export, and also creating employment opportunities for its use. And, and, and it has identified some priority sectors for foreign investors. These priority sectors are the pharmaceuticals, textile and apparel, energy, horticulture, tourism, ICT, laser and agro processes. So these are identified as our priority sectors in order to attract foreign investors to, to do their business in Ethiopia. Uh, next is why invest in Ethiopia? Why investors uh, should think of Ethiopia as their investment destination? So we have like, we are the peaceful country in Africa. We have political and social stability. The corruption rate is also minimum, yeah? and we have also abundant natural resources for every sector. We have full of raw materials, and we have also active and trainable labor force, both skilled and uh, semi-skilled, and it reaches around 40, 45 million, which is a huge number. As I said it earlier, Ethiopia is one of the fastest growing economy for the previous years. And now we are trying to, to also to continue that pace. Our location is the Horn of Africa, make us uh, pro uh, close to the Middle East, European Union, and the Asia. And we have also concluded agreements, such as the duty free market access agreement with the European Union, which we call it the Everything EBA, which means everything but arms. So every, every, every company who is investing in Ethiopia can export its products without any duty to the European Union market. And we, we have also agreement called AGWA with the US market. Uh, and we have also preferential duty agreements uh, with China, India, Japan, Canada, and Australia. So if any company wants to invest in Ethiopia, uh, he or she can enjoy this uh, market access to the global market. The Ethiopian government ha has also devised tailored incentives and support mechanisms it includes both fiscal and non-fiscal, as you see, or corporate income tax exemption, custom tax exemption, the loose carry forward system, and we are also providing one-stop shop, one shop service for our investors at every industrial park. And we have also been successful in uh, establishing or uh, sustainable infrastructures, which can uh, suit the global standards and requirements. I hope many of us here uh, knows our national flag carrier, Ethiopian Airlines. It's a world class, Africa's biggest airline, and it has uh, more than 100 international destinations. It has around 35 cargo destinations, and it is also connecting the whole of Africa. Yeah? So we have around 50 uh, African destinations, which means Ethiopian Airlines is flying to every African country. We have uh, also uh, developed a road network. Our investment corridors are connected with our ports, 
both dry ports and our Djibouti port. And uh, they are also connected with our capital, yeah. This figure is uh, our Addis Djibouti Railway. That is uh, Africa's electric powered railway. Uh, and since Ethiopia is a landlocked country, we, we, we don't have a direct access with the sea, yeah. So we are using the Djibouti airport, the Djibouti, I, I mean the Djibouti port for our import and export. And now we are using around more than 90% of our import and export with, uh, through the Djibouti port. And it is very near, which is close to 10 hours. And uh, electricity. Ethiopia is providing for investors uh, one of the cheapest, yeah, one of the cheapest in Africa. It's around three US cents for kilowatt hour. And we are only using the green, we are only building green economy. So we have a huge potential for hydropower, geothermal, or solar power. And in Africa, we are the first on, on, on the potentials. We have around 45,000 megawatt hydropower potentials, but we have only used around 2,421 megawatt. So there is untapped opportunity in this regard. Indian investors can use it this potential as well. And, and currently we are building the Grand, uh, Grand, uh, Grand Ethiopian Resistance Dam, GERD. So it is near to its completion and it will generate around 6,000 megawatt. The Ethiopian government also believes that the industrial parks play a huge role uh, as they are a catalyst to our industrialization agenda. And believing on that, Ethiopian government has successfully built 17 in the, uh, operational industrial parks and other countries, other companies have built around five private industrial parks. So if there is any inter interested Indian company, either he can uh, use the government constructing industrial parks or he can uh, take land in a lease format and he can build his own industrial parks. Uh, as I said it earlier, textile and apparel is one of the priorities in our uh, government policy. And in this regard, we, we have done a huge yeah, successful uh, trajectory. And since 2015, the number of textile and garment manufacturers in Ethiopia has been doubled. And now Ethiopia hosts around 170 textile and apparel companies in total, which they create 80,000 uh, employment for our youth and the export amount has been around 308 million. And it is one of the booming sector in Ethiopia nowadays. One of the raw materials for this textile and apparel is cotton, and Ethiopia has around 3 million hectares of land, which is suitable, and it is available. It is untapped, it is un 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 unexplored, and the government has also identified around eight cotton growing corridors. So if there are any interest company, Indian one, who want to invest in this, Cotton production, the, the potential is very huge and our embassy will support if he wants to do uh, there. These are some of the global names who have successfully established their presence in Ethiopia. And as you see from the figure, we, 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 uh, you, you can look the giants from in, the giant Indian companies such as Arvind, Raymond, who have successfully established their factories in Ethiopia and they are exporting to the European market, to the US market by using those preferential agreements which we have concluded earlier. Yeah, so this is all about my presentation. If there are any interested companies who want to work with our country, who wants to work with our embassy, our embassy is always open and we can uh, support and assist you in your next juncture. Thank you so much.